a p-value is related to this. Okay, and, and you will see p-values quoted all of the time in the literature. Um, they're heavily misused, heavily misunderstood, and so I'd really encourage you to try and develop a, a sound understanding of what it means so that you don't fall into the trap of, of misunderstanding it and misusing them. They simply, a p-value simply informs your discussion of the results. And we probably would have done some of that um, if we'd been able to. So, um, the probability, a p-value is the probability of obtaining an observed result by chance. So, when we start, we had that one population. So, you, I, you saw me open one data file that just had a bunch of numbers in it. And that was, that was the population of Tatooine. And then when we sampled that, we got different means. What we could then do is say, well, what is the probability that those two means that I got are actually different? Or what is the probability that they just come from the same, that one data file? Because you'd look at them. If I gave, uh, you know, if I said, well, I measured a, sam I measured a mean height in my sample of 140. And someone else said, well, I measured a mean height in my sample of 160. And the two of you might get together and say, well, you obviously went to a short part of Tatooine. Perhaps they're malnourished in the south of Tatooine. And you might speculate all sorts of wonderful things. But what you really want to know is what's the likelihood that if you were given the same population that you could just randomly generate those results? Because if you can randomly generate them, then there's no difference. Or you can't say that there's a difference. And so what we define it is, what is the probability that a given result would occur by chance? So what is the probability that sampling the same population, I will measure 140 centimetres and you will measure 160? And if that p-value, that probability, is very small, then you say, well, it's very unlikely. Say if it's 0.01, say, well, there's only a 1% chance. So if I did this, um, if we did 100, only 100 experiments, I would only expect one of them to produce um, that difference. So that's telling me, well, there's still a chance that there's that difference isn't real, and it's just, uh, just random. But on balance, I'm pretty convinced. The problem is people tend to put too much weight on those probability values. They're indicative at best with, um, with experimental data because they rely on a whole bunch of these assumptions like normal distribution. So we, use, we treat, treat them with care. But what you can do is you say, well, it's small. That means, it might mean that it's worth pursuing this further um, in an, any given situation. Uh, I, we, these will recur, and I will do more on this. I just want to introduce the whole idea as a probability of obtaining ob an observed result by chance. And so then on the basis of that, and if we'd been able to do this group activity, um, we would have been able to look at whether the height and weight and age uh, of um, people in Tatooine is different from the average uh, on Earth, and I could have given you the averages from Earth. And then we could have done a comparison and said, well, what's the probability that that difference um, would exist by chance if we just looked at the same, um, same distribution? I think you would please... Oh, th there you go, that's some actual results from the, from the data set. Um, we can have a look. So, in this, say, uh, uh, I think this is the last thing I've got. But the, uh, I'm afraid, my hands right. The uh, so the one thing I used a t-test here, and I said that the mean height of people on Earth is 160 centimeters. No idea if that's true. Um, and I compared the mean of um, a sample of 78 people. So I took a sample of 78 people from Tatooine. They had a mean of 161 centimetres. 
and a standard deviation of 13 centimeters. So that just characterizes my sample. So this is the sample that I measured. The, um, what we have in the t-test, the thing you, the p-value is this thing called sig, the significance. And here it's come out as 0.53. That's saying there's a 53% chance that I could have generated this mean, or I could have generated the difference between 161 and 160. There's a 53% chance that I could produce that in a random data set. So actually, th that whether that difference is real or not is very difficult to say. That's my p-value, that's my result. That's what I would discuss. It doesn't mean that my research is wrong. It doesn't mean that my answers are wrong. Um, what it's, it means is this is my result, interesting. What would I do? So then I'd write a whole discussion around why, th I think, why I think I've got this value, what it might mean. I would say that my s I've got a standard deviation of 14 centimeters. Um, so there's a lot of variation within the sample. And then I might talk about sample of 78 people, it's not really large enough, um, so there's my stand error of the mean, saying I've got a stand error of the mean of 1.5, 1.6 centimetres, and you can build a discussion um, based around this. And that's kind of an activity I'd like to get going on the QM Plus uh, site, that we can all contribute to these ideas of discussion so that we all benefit from each other's thoughts. Um, but then if I increase the sample size from 78 up to 960, You'll see here that um, the significance is now 0.072. So I'm, I've got a probability of about 7% that um, I could generate this difference by chance. There's a different oh, the difference there. 160.74 versus the Earth, um, that average of 160. So I'm starting to see that it's looking quite possible that people on Tatooine are very slightly taller than people on Earth. Um, but that's just where I wanted to leave it today, and I'm going to, uh, like I say, try and put up extra material um, to support this. So just try and uh, introduce some of these ideas and how we can use it and how they crop up in, in research. Oh yeah, fi uh, final point is your packing away is abnormality. So if your data is not normal, then a lot of these assumptions fall down. And you can have abnormal data where the mean and the mode and the median aren't the same. And you see there's a hump there. So it doesn't follow that nice normal curve.